Three in Mississippi will continue to climb this summer. Elderly residents are especially vulnerable to this heat. WCBI's Victoria Bailey spent the day with one Columbus woman who's been forced from her home due to the climbing heat. She joins us live with more. Victoria. That's right, Andrea. I'm standing in front of Miss Grace Pointer's home. Now, there are fans on the inside, but there's no air conditioning unit. Older people are at a high risk of developing heat related illnesses, and the heat can decrease the ability to notice changes in body temperature as they age. And Miss Pointer is concerned. At night, the fans did cool down, so, you know, but yet, and still, I need the air during the day. When I was going through chemo and radiation, I did need that. It get hot in there. When we walked in, it was like it was walking in a sauna. Miss Grace Pointer has cared for Martha Gordon her whole life any time she was sick. Now, Gordon is ready to take care of the woman who has shown her so much love over the years. We went to a home to visit her as church members, me and some old members, and we realized that she didn't have any air. So we signed her up with Prayer Opportunity, and... Um, they was going to do a follow-up, and we hadn't heard from them, so I called them again this year, and they said she was still on the waiting list. So she still doesn't have any air. Pointer says summers are always tough, but it feels as though it has been hot all year long. It was hot on the 15th of February. It was pretty warm, and that's when I really got sick this time, when I needed uh, air. My oxygen level had dropped, and I was couldn't sleep that night, so the next morning, her son came, picked me up, and put me in the car, and took me to the emergency room. That just how sick and hot I had got in the house. After that, the elderly Columbus woman had to move. She's on oxygen 24-7, and uh, she's a senior citizen. She lives alone, but now she's with her sister until we try to find some air for her. Pointer says most elderly residents, like her, are on a fixed income and can't afford a large air conditioning unit. While she feels blessed to have the help that she does, Pointer hopes this story will help others. You know, elders, you got a lot of elders that need help. And, and they should reach out to the elders because I have a family, sisters. I got three sisters. Here. And all of them got air, but see if I need to go to there, I have somewhere to go. But a lot of people don't have anyone. Now Prairie Opportunity tells me because the program is federally funded, the organization must wait on the money before they can provide any services. Now the requests are on a list, and once the money is there, they will be meeting appointments by need. We're live in Columbus. I'm Victoria Bailey, WCBI News. Andrea.